Alright guys, so today I was thinking it would be a little bit different, oh this is a new event, that's cool, a little bit different kind of video, and I would be telling you guys uh, why online daters don't get banned. So first off, let's go to a typical online dating spot, Club Tesla, and uh, games. And let's look at the uh, at the list. As you can see, all the online daters have the same exact outfits. Sinister branches. Some are pretty rich. They usually wear like this guy, for example. Uh, the core blocks thing. Now, why won't Roblox ban these people, even though they're breaking the rules of Roblox? It's very simple. This is the one and only reason, most likely, and that is. Because they make a lot of money off them. What I'm saying is, most of these people can't afford the items that they're wearing. So, how do you think they get them? Exactly, from money. Real life money. Now, people like this could either buy these items, or they've traded for them. So, let's do this. So, say if you wanted to buy a prankster. So, let's look up prankster. 90,000 Robux currently. So let's go to catalog if you want to buy off site. I mean, on site. It's 35,000. So 35 plus 35 plus 35. Oops. Plus 35. So uh, we don't have to do 35,000 for that one. We can do plus 10 plus 10. Alright, and then plus, I don't know, plus 5 for the extra. So that's 95,000. So we have 235s, two 10s, and one 5. So that's $5. $5, I mean, plus 1, plus 0.5, actually. That's like 90.5 or 1 or whatever. Let's just do it like that. So that's already $5. How much does 10,000 Robux cost? 10,000 Robux cost uh, $10. I mean, 10,000 Robux cost. Let's just say let's just say fifteen actually. If we change that to fifteen plus fifteen. Now they need around five thousand more so we can go back. Look at the six thousand value that's plus plus fifty. Okay, whatever. You you understand what I mean. So it's ninety thousand Robux. To get that, they need two hundred dollars for this. Fifty dollars for this, so that's already uh two hundred fifty dollars just for seventy six thousand, and then they're probably by the fifteen thousand just to sum it up, which is another hundred dollars. So that's three hundred and fifty dollars per one virtual item. So, yeah, you can imagine Roblox is making a crap ton off their value. Start again for fifty for five dollars, bro. On the black market, not saying you should do this, but black market four fifty is like. 60 cents it's like that cheap so yeah let's also look at another person they usually wear this core blocks mage outfit it won't let me show the name so I don't know what it's actually called but the core blocks thing costs 17,000 robux and that frost one costs like 500 robux so each time someone buys that frost kit which most people have that's five dollars towards uh their robots bank account so Let's go to core blocks. A lot of people wear the core blocks outfit. That's seventeen thousand Robux on normal days and ten thousand. I'm pretty sure during sales. So let's just do it on normal days. So seventeen thousand. That's fifteen thousand. That is all. That's a hundred and twenty-five dollars just for a virtual item. So, and you can see multiple and multiple people have these items, and you're like, how do they have these items? They how do they get Robux? They're not builders club or anything. That's how they get Robux. They buy, and it costs even more. If you don't have Builder Clubs, it costs even more to buy these kind of Robux. So, let's just say the only reason why Roblox doesn't follow their terms of services and ban online daters is because it makes them rich as fuck. Sorry for the language, but I'm just summing it up. So, if next time you say, oh, why is that person, I'm going to report this person, don't even bother because Roblox won't do anything about it. Because they they just keep on making money off them. 
So yeah, that is why, that's basically the general summary of why Roblox doesn't ban online daters. So thank you guys for watching and enjoy it.